So well onto those who those performers of salah, prayers, hypocrites, who who delay their salah prayer from their stated fixed times. He called them performers of Salat and yet threatened them with woe despite their praying. The reason for that is they delay their Salat prayer from their stated fixed times <coughs> without valid excuse. Consequently, this prayer is not acceptable before Allah, the, All the Mighty and Sublime, and it is a wasted prayer. As for the one who absolutely abandons the prayer, he is a disbeliever because he has destroyed a pillar from the pillars of his submission in Islam. He destroyed the second pillar after the after the after pillars of his submission in Islam. He destroyed the second pillar after the two statements of testimony and it is the mainstay of Islam as contained in the Hadith. Therefore, the place of the prayer is a great one and the only and the one who has Islam in his heart does not take the prayers with a levity. It is obligatory on the Muslim to continue to observe them and establish them at their stated hours. This is the beneficial prayer by which one would have discharged his responsibility as regard the one who performs the prayer according to, the, to his desires. He deliberately sleeps and says, whenever I wake up from sleep, I will pray. So he performs the Fajr prayer only after sunrise. or shortly before the sun descends the horizon. Some even combine the day's prayer and perform them all at one, one time, and say the one who accepts them separately will accept them together. This is vanity, and the refuge is with Allah. Such a person is only mocking and scorning Allah, the mighty and sublime. He said to give the, the zakah, the zaka is the like of the prayer. It is the obligatory right in the wealth of the rich for the poor. He, the exalted, said, and in their properties there was the right of the beggar and the poor, who does not ask the others it is therefore an obligation and not something given voluntarily. It is an obligation and one of the pillars of Islam, like the prayer. So the one who prays but does not give the zakah has abandoned one of the pillars of Islam. If he is one who denies the obligation of the zakah, he is a belie disbeliever. But if he acknowledges its obligation but is overcome by greed, the authority will collect it from such a person forcefully because it is a right over him as it will collect the money from the debtor in possession of the people's wealth when, the deliberate, when he deliberately refuses to pay up. If it is the right of the judge to take from his wealth and pay up his debts, without his consent and against his wish then to collect then to collect the zakah as such uh, is with a greater reason since it is from the rights of Allah the mighty and sublime this was to this was the reason why Abu Bakr Siddiq fought those who refused to give the zakah because they refused a right obligatory upon them due to others Thus the place of zakah is a great one, he said, and to fast in Ramadan it is the fourth pillar of Islam. Thus the one who is able to fast carrying out the order to fast, then it is obligatory upon him. But the one who has a valid excuse, he will not fast but repay 
bit based on his saying. So whoever of you cites the crescent on the first night of the month, he must observe fast that month. As for the one who va with valid excuse, such as the sick who is unable to fast, or the one travelling a distance appropriate for the Kusa prayer, he will not observe the fast of Ramadan in the range of the need. Thereafter he will wait, make up the fast from others from other days based on his saying. But if any of you is ill or on a journey, the same number should be made up from other days. Thus one must observe the Ramadan fast whether in fulfilment of the duty to fast in the month of or for those with valid excuse by making up its missed days after the month. In any case, it is not permissible to abandon the fast as long as one is sane and capable of fasting. He must observe the fast, but if he is unable to observe the fast due to an excuse whose end is expected, he will not fast in the month. He will rather make up from other days, but if it is due to an excuse whose end is not anticipated while he remain sane and rational, then he will feed the poor for every day of the fast based on his saying. And as for those who can fast with difficulty, an old man and or woman, they have a choice either to fast or to feed a poor person for every day. So he feeds a poor person for each day, he said, and to perform the pilgrimage, the pilgrimage is the fifth pillar of the of Islam, and it is only obligatory once in a lifetime.